Archaeopteryx lithographica, discovered in the 1860 years, came at a pivotal time in paleontology, shortly after Darwin's theory of evolution was introduced. It became a celebrated example of a transitional species, linking dinosaurs to birds. For over a century, it stood as a symbol of evolutionary theory, though its history has been filled with controversy, ranging from debates over bird origins, accusations of being a forgery, to the mysterious disappearance of one specimen. At the time of its discovery, Archaeopteryx was quickly embraced as evidence of an evolutionary connection between dinosaurs and birds. However, this perspective didn't last. By the early 20th century, scientists believed birds descended from thecodont reptiles, a group that we now know included early archosaurs and pseudosuchians. For decades, Archaeopteryx was reduced to being seen simply as the first bird, a mix of reptilian and avian features. Reconstructions during this time varied. Some showed it as a more bird-like creature, while others emphasized its reptilian traits, depicting it with scaly faces and odd wing structures. Artists frequently imagined it with bright, parrot-like colors, with one yellow and blue version becoming so iconic that it even influenced the design of a Pokémon. The connection between dinosaurs and birds was revived in the 70s, particularly with the discovery of Deinonychus, leading to the dinosaur renaissance. By the 90s, stunning feathered dinosaur fossils from China further cemented Archaeopteryx's identity as a feathered dinosaur, not just the first bird. Recent studies of Archaeopteryx fossils have shed more light on its appearance, revealing detailed information about its feather arrangement and possibly its color. Living around 150 to 148 million years ago in what is now southern Germany, Archaeopteryx inhabited an island chain in a tropical sea. It grew to about 50 centimeters long and was likely covered in panaceous feathers, resembling a long-tailed bird. It had broad wings with asymmetrical flight feathers, similar to modern birds, and probably some matte black coverts. Its legs were also feathered, with a raptor-like second toe, and its tail had a slight forked shape. The extent of its flying ability has been debated, but current theories suggest it could make short, flapping flights like a modern pheasant. Its shoulder joints were less flexible than today's birds, implying a different flight stroke for generating lift. Today, Archaeopteryx is no longer always considered the first bird or a direct ancestor of modern birds. Instead, it represents a side branch of early avian evolution, one among many in the diverse and growing lineage of feathered dinosaurs.